Hello everyone, this is Jay Pal talking to you from the roofs, rooftops of Mexico City. We're getting very close to uh, Holy Week, actually starts tomorrow. So I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be doing some posts. I'm going to try something, you perhaps remember the 12 days of Christmas, 12 days of Thanksgiving. Well, I'm going to try something similar and I'm going to do the Holy Week. I want to do a breakdown. Although I've been a believer for many years, I feel like this is one of the events that I have missed and not celebrated nearly as much as should be. So I wanted to really study it this week and uh, really appreciate what God did and appreciate what Jesus did for us and really look at it in a, uh, a little bit more under the microscope. And I thought, well, it may be a great time to share, share this with you as well. So uh, this is called Breaking Down Holy Week so far. Uh, this week leads to Easter the most important event in human history. So I really wanted to dig in and understand what happened and walk with other Christians throughout this event. See how it was celebrated, honored in the past, and just see what the Bible has to say about it. I'll be using the Chronological Bible for this. It's interesting to be remembering and celebrating this in the midst of this international emergency which we're having. This is the COVID-19 at this time. So uh, it's a pretty important time of healing, salvation, rescue, supply. We need all of that. Jesus' story is always encouraging in that sense because he supplied all those things for us. All four Gospels stress the importance of Jesus' final week in Jerusalem. They all have the accounts of it. The account of this week fully occupies the last half of the fourth Gospel of John and roughly the last third of both Matthew and Mark. The final week of his life is often called the Passion Week, which is an appropriate name since the word passion is derived from the Latin word suffering. Of course, his passion for us is shown throughout his life and through the death and resurrection as well. So the earliest allusion to the custom of celebrating this week as a whole with special observances is to be found dating from the latter half of the third and fourth century. So we don't know how the first Christians, first 300 years celebrated it, but it's interesting to note that uh, it was celebrated as Holy Week from about the third and fourth centuries. So I really wanted to dig in and study it and thought I'd share it with you. In addition, uh, maybe I'll post a special song each day to go along with it or a link to something special that touched me during this time. Please enjoy, share, and feel the love from God and His Son during this most important week in the development and evolution of human history, the Holy Week. Uh, one way we can keep busy and use this time wisely is to really appreciate at this time what God did for us through Jesus his life, his ministry, and this very special week, which we have deemed Holy Week. Okay, so the song I've chosen to go with this post is the song I wrote last year called Easter is the Reason We Have Christmas. Now everybody loves and celebrates Christmas. It's a wonderful holiday, definitely one of my favorites, but maybe we don't really realize that the whole purpose of Christmas, of the birth of Jesus, was for him to live among us and ultimately to die for our sins and be raised again. That's Easter. So maybe we don't celebrate it in the world as much as Christmas because it's really humanity's greatest shame. It's horrific what we did to God and His Son in trying to stop that truth and put out the light. So um, anyway, please think about that as you check out this song I got. Easter is the reason we have Christmas. child so small and weak so similar to you and me we know his story how it went his life amongst the poor his growing up in troubled lands confronting all the worst in man yet never ceasing to believe his father's love was more more than able to relieve the suffering he daily see. So as he grew from child to man, he watched and took it in. Then 
Following his father's voice He made a good but deadly choice That led him on to Calvary To save humanity Easter is the reason we have Christmas We all love to see Jesus as a babe But we can't forget He came to suffer violence To give His life and rise on Easter Day How we love the angels, shepherds, star and wise men But let's remember how that came to be You see Easter is the reason we have Christmas Someone was born to die for you and me So at Christmas time we celebrate The one who came to liberate the day when God became a man To execute His plan The plan to save our troubled race So on a cross He took our place That all began in Bethlehem When God became a man Easter is the reason we have Christmas we all love to see Jesus as a babe But we can't forget He came to suffer violence To give His life and rise on Easter Day How we love the angels, shepherds, star and wise men Let's remember how that came to be You see, Easter is the reason we have Christmas Someone was born to die for you and me You see, Easter is the reason we have Christmas Came to die for you and me